Welcome to Life in My Greenhouse. Today, I'm going to show you how to turn a rotisserie chicken into three delicious meals meant to feed a family of five. These meals come together easily and are so delicious. One of them will even help you to fight off a cold. So without further ado, let's get into the kitchen. I love exploring dishes that you can quickly put together, especially on those busy nights. I know you know what I'm talking about. So having a rotisserie chicken on hand can really transform your evening. By being extremely creative, we can make delicious meals out of this one chicken. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. You'll be able to meal prep days ahead or place them in the freezer for weeks at a time if you'd like until you're ready for them. So we'll start by cutting up our chicken and removing it from the bone. For our first meal, I'll be making a delicious immune boosting soup. Nothing will be wasted from this chicken. So I decided to debone it and make some broth out of the bones by adding onions, celery, carrots, and thyme, and garlic to my pressure cooker. I put it on high for 30 minutes. I intentionally selected these ingredients for a soup today because they have properties that are known to help with cough and colds. They have essential nutrients and tend to warm and soothe a sore throat. These fresh ingredients are also known to have anti-inflammatory properties that can ease cold symptoms and support the immune system. We'll also be using turmeric because it's known as a detox for your body. I'll be using celery, ginger, green onions, poblano pepper, uh, fresh bell pepper, and of course some of the chicken from our rotisserie, and a lot of garlic. I'll be using fresh chopped ginger in our soup and also slices of ginger as a garnish. Start by chopping all of your ingredients to approximately the same size. I'm using a poblano pepper. They are loaded with vitamin C and can also help to clear your nasal passage. Just a friendly reminder to plant the tops of your green onions. They grow really quickly. You can just place them in a floured pot and they require just a little bit of sunlight. So go ahead and continue to slice up all your veggies. I'm using six cloves of garlic and I'm also gonna be adding some cabbage to the soup. Garlic and cabbage are powerhouse foods when you're fighting off a cold. Garlic is known to be antiviral and cabbage is loaded with vitamins and minerals. So if you have them on hand, they're excellent for this soup. Once we saute our onions to a pot with some olive oil on medium heat, we're going to add some turmeric. You can use raw turmeric or powdered turmeric for this recipe. And go ahead and toast them in the pan and then slowly add the other ingredients. So next I added my poblano peppers just saute them for about two minutes or so. Add your bell peppers. And then go ahead and add your carrots. I then add my celery. And then I add my thyme. Keep your fire on a medium to low heat. We don't want it to burn, we're just slightly toasting and warming up the vegetables to unlock the properties. And then we'll add our garlic and some Himalayan sea salt. I then added some white pepper to our veggies. Continue to gently stir your veggies. Now give it about two minutes or so 
then you can add your cooked chicken. You can also do this with uh, raw chicken if you wanted to start by cooking your chicken first. If you're using raw chicken, you can do that. I just happened to have the rotisserie chicken on hand and so it just worked out quickly for this soup. When you're not feeling well, you really don't want to fuss around in the kitchen. So if you're able to get everything done faster, it's always better when you're feeling unwell. Next, I added six cups of my chicken broth and my chopped cabbage to the soup. It smells so good. It looks so rich already. I'm also using this better than bouillon base, which just really rounds it out. If you don't have it on hand, you don't have to use it, but I really like the flavor. This is the roasted chicken. This video is not sponsored, but I just really like that product. Next, I'm chopping up some parsley and cilantro to add to my soup. Then go ahead and add some of your chopped green onions and continue to simmer your soup on low. This smells so good. And just like that, you've made a delicious immune boosting cold fighting soup. If you love what you see, go ahead and smash the like button. I then went ahead and just added some sliced ginger on top and some fresh cilantro. Oh, this is so comforting. If you are not feeling well or someone else in your family is just feeling slightly under the weather, this is bound to make them feel better, I'm telling you. This helped my household 100%. It was so good, we ended up actually making two batches of this soup because the first one went so quickly and not everyone was feeling unwell, but it was just so tasty, so everyone really enjoyed it. Perfect for a cold evening or, as I said, if you're just feeling under the weather. Here's a recipe card with the list of ingredients. Next, we'll use some more of our rotisserie chicken to make a delicious buffalo chicken pizza. And this pizza is super easy if you already have a pizza dough or if you need a recipe for pizza dough, check out my bread playlist. And if all else fails, you can always just pick up a store-bought pizza dough in the grocery store. Let's start by making our delicious buffalo chicken sauce. Place one stick of butter to a medium saucepan on low heat. Add a quarter teaspoon of garlic, as well as a quarter teaspoon of white vinegar to the pot. Then add a quarter teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Now it wouldn't be a buffalo chicken sauce without some Frank's Red Hot. Add a half a cup to the pot. Let your pot simmer on medium heat and mix to combine. Mix one teaspoon of cornstarch with two teaspoons of water and add it to the pot. Continue to stir until it's completely combined. Then go ahead and add your sauce to cooked chicken. Completely coat the chicken, getting all that delicious sauce in every nook and granny. Go ahead and preheat your oven to the highest setting. I'll be using a pizza stone. Dust your surface with some flour and roll out your dough. For a quick and easy pizza dough recipe, check out my bread playlist. Next, add your delicious buffalo sauce to your pizza. This will be your base. Top with shredded mozzarella or your favorite pizza cheese blend. Next, go ahead and add your buffalo chicken. Top with a little more cheese if you like. Carefully place your pizza in your oven and bake for 12 to 15 minutes. Look how delicious that looks. This pizza will be a hit for sure in your household. 
It's super tangy, full of flavor. It's so robust and satisfying. If you like what you see, give this video a big thumbs up. Top with fresh green onions. Go ahead and drizzle your pizza with a little ranch dressing. And just like that, you've made a delicious buffalo chicken pizza. Top with crumbled blue cheese or feta if you like. Now before you take a bite, can you do me a big favor? In order to continue to provide delicious recipes like these, it would really help our channel out if you subscribe and hit the bell notification. I truly believe that making meals like these at home really deepen the family connection. I've provided the list of ingredients right here. And for our final recipe using the rest of our rotisserie chicken, we'll make a delicious and easy pasta bake. You'll also be able to meal prep this recipe. Place it in the freezer until you're ready to bake it. This recipe is sure to be a hit if you have company coming over. It's extremely creamy, comforting, and satisfying. There are so many ways to incorporate your leftover chicken into a fabulous new meal. You just have to get creative. We'll start by boiling our pasta according to the package directions. I just love the shape of these mini lasagna noodles. Look how cute they are. Now go ahead and preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll start by making our delicious sauce. Add a tablespoon of olive oil to a saucepan on medium heat. Next, add one tablespoon of butter. Once your butter is completely melted, add your chopped onion to the pot. Add one teaspoon of oregano and gently saute. Next, add two tablespoons of flour to the pot. Go ahead and stir until the flour is completely absorbed. Next, add a teaspoon of garlic. Add one can of cream of chicken to the pot. You can also substitute this for cream of mushroom, cream of celery, or cream of broccoli. Then go ahead and fill the can with water and add it to the pot. Stir until creamy and smooth. Add a teaspoon of Better Than Bouillon. I'm using the roasted chicken flavor. Next, add fresh cracked pepper to taste. Add four cups of stock to the pot. Next, add four ounces of softened cream cheese to your sauce. Bring your sauce to a gentle boil and whisk until it's completely creamy and smooth. And then add a quarter cup of cream. Add one to two cups of your rotisserie chicken. Give it a good stir and it's time to add your drained pasta. Next, add a teaspoon of garlic powder. Then add some fresh chopped green onions. This is starting to look so good. Mix until everything is completely coated with your delicious sauce. Go ahead and add a layer of noodles to your 9 by 13 baking dish. Top with some shredded mozzarella. Next, add some shredded sharp cheddar. Then top with the remaining noodle mixture. Add the rest of your mozzarella and cheddar cheese. Looking oh so good. At this point, you can place it in the freezer covered until you're ready to bake. Bake in a 400 degree Fahrenheit oven for 30 minutes uncovered. You can also broil the top for a couple of minutes if you'd like. And just like that, we've made this delicious, cheesy, creamy pasta bake. Our rotisserie chicken really came in handy. 
top with grated Parmesan cheese and you have yourself a satisfying meal. Here's a recipe card with a list of ingredients for this meal. If you appreciate delicious recipes like these, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so you'll be the first to be notified of our new videos. I really appreciate each and every one of you and really enjoy sharing my family recipes with you all. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Take care of yourself my beloved and remember the grass is always greener where you water it. See you next time.